So we finally have our main navigation set up and now we can provide the uh, PHP WordPress code to uh, dynamically generate it. If we go to our header.php file and find our navigation menu, uh, it's going to be everything inside of this div with the class of container. And what I'm going to do for now is just comment it out. I'm going to hit command slash or control slash. And I recently posted a video showing how to install WordPress snippets for Sublime Text. And we're going to take advantage of that right now. I'm going to open up the PHP type. And the function we're going to use is going to be called WP underscore nav. And you can see it right there, menu. And I'll just hit uh, tab. And you can see it's a, uh, don't forget to close it out with a semicolon. Uh, you can see it's a function that comes with a lot of properties. So I'm just going to make it a little more readable. Uh, we don't need to fill all of these out. In fact, we can go ahead and get rid of theme location. And then for menu, we're going to give it a value of main nav, main dash nav, container by default is a div, uh, since we already have a div, we don't have to change this, so we can delete it, container class, uh, we have a class of container, so I guess we can just delete the first part of this out, oh, we're not using a container ID, so we can take that out too, menu class that'll be uh, this unordered list right here and we have a class of nav so I'll copy and paste that for menu class I'll give it a value of nav menu ID we don't use one so we'll delete it echo is true and we'll just leave that at default uh, our fallback we don't have a fallback menu so we can delete that one um, before after link before and link after we don't need to worry about because we're using default and we can go ahead and delete items wrap depth and walker as well so i'll just delete that and that should be good enough again make sure you have it closed with a semicolon and we're going to hit save and i'll switch back over to my browser and let me refresh it and uh Right off the bat, we know this works because uh, the first letter is not capitalized. It was lowercase before. And when we click on one, uh, we can see up here in the uh, navigation bar that uh, the page ID is changing. So what the link is doing is it's calling on the ID of each of these pages that we created. And uh, the reason why it's not changing is because we haven't yet set up our uh, inside page template. And that's what we're going to go ahead and do next.